So Phosphorescent Revelator, the new album. Let's welcome here to WFPK. Thanks, y'all. Thanks for having me. Uh, this is the first song off that record. It's called Revelator. When, uh, right when I got done with those other songs and um, they were like some little snippets of songs kind of had been floating around but uh, yeah I generally tend to not be able to, to uh, finish songs until I know uh, like what kind of album it is like I still think about stuff as, a, as an album um, and then I wrote the song Revelator and uh, it just kind of made everything pretty clear and I finished up all the other songs that were kind of there and um, yeah and then made it I had read somewhere where you kind of struggled with just the title Revelator I did a little yeah it okay. was 
I think it's got some sort of, it's a loaded word maybe. It feels like it's got certain biblical maybe or uh, some kind of connotations that I don't think are actually what I, I don't think really apply here. Um, but in the end, it was kind of like the song was such a, you get these little blips every now and then where you're just sure of what you should do. Um, and I, I just, it had to be called Revelator. This is another song from it. This is a song called Impossible House. I see the lines in the field as they curve away from you. As the roads go flashing by. They say the signs will reveal it, but they hardly ever do. And I know that can't be right. See, I was steadily moving, but now I'm steady standing still. So clearly set up to fail, I have to wonder what you're after. I see the lake in the evening as it's dripping off your skin. And I try to hold it tight I try to shake off that feeling But it just keeps slipping in Like the day into the night Hey, I've been seeing you suffering And I see you suffering still You have to take it apart You have to make this matter you've made an impossible house you've made an impossible house you have made an impossible house you have made an impossible house about five years since you put out a new album i mean i know you, you did a covers record sometime in between there and yeah yeah and uh yeah in 2022 put out a, a record called the full moon project well didn't put out the record did a a song uh every month on the full moon and released it um so yeah to, it was 
harder than I thought to do that. <laughs> I, was, I thought I could buy some time just a little bit and then make this record, but uh, I was uh, at midnight before the full moon every month uh, finishing the, the song to try <laughs> to get it out. All, all. So that was my 2022, basically. Right. Well, why did you pick a full moon? Any particular reason? When I had the idea to do it, it was uh, December of the prior year and it was the full moon. I was happened to be in Florida. I was uh, walking on, uh, not on the beach, uh, but on these sidewalks down in Key West. And uh, I just had this epiphany to, uh, to <laughs> I was listening to this song uh, uh, on, on the headphones and I, and I was like, I think I wanna record this song. And then I thought, I think I'm gonna just start recording some songs. And then uh, it just was like right there. I was like, oh. <laughs> Here's one of those ones from that Full Moon Project. Um, it's, it's a song by uh, a fellow named Vern Gosden. It's called Any Old Miracle. I know it's late And I sure do hate to bother you Just send me that one miracle 
any old miracle won't do. It feels weird uh, singing songs like this in the middle of the day. So <laughs> sorry. Here's one more. There's a song called Song Presumer. I could kill you with my bare hands if I was free. 